Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is KC868M16. This board is mainly used for monitoring the sensor state of the energy meter. So you can see there are 16 channel CT sensor. You can see this is CT sensor input and also made by the ESP32. So this board also will support the home assistant by ESP home and support you write any Arduino code downloaded to the ESP32 module. And also you can see here is the SD card socket so that you can use the SD card insert to this socket and remove the SD card. And this SD card is no memory limit so it's according to your Arduino code because the home assistant not save the history state in this SD card. The home assistant will save the sensor history date on the Raspberry Pi on the server. We have designed this board for the ESP home uh, so that can easily integrate to a home assistant. Uh, you can see here, this is our phone. And here you can see the dashboard we have created, the CT clamp energy meter by this board. And here you can see the first channel that have showed the measured current and the power and how many energy have consumer. So you can see this is the full date of the channel 1 and this is channel 2 until channel 16. And there will have three channels of the analog input of ESP32 GPIO pins. So you can see here that have three pins, three channels of analog input and not detected by the energy meat just from DC 0 to 5 voltage sensor you, have, you can connect to this part. And this is the home assistant, uh, this is a YAML file you can download and we have created this file. You can easily copy and paste using home assistant. And about the SD card, we can also support the Arduino source code. You can use this SD card to read and write any date. You can see we have created the Hello World demo source code and how to uh, write the SD card and read the SD card. So you can use this Arduino code. And also this board is supported by the ESP Home. You can see this is ESP Home official uh, device have list. At here, you can see that is Kinkoni M16 have added to this plant for. And also you will see many little board of the Kinkoni. You can see that all is supported by the ESP Home. And click M16. Uh, this pin define and config YAML file and all have quit. Okay, this is the software supported by the M16 board. Let's look at the hardware details and you can see this board have some details. You can see every pin, every channel and every function on this board, on this diagram. Before you want to monitor the voltage and the current and the power, maybe you will install the power meter. This power meter and we'll install the power distribution box. And uh, this is a demo photo have connected with the K868 server and uh, monitor the IS485 mode bus energy meter. But this time we have another way. You can see here we can use the CT sensor. Just just use this sensor because the different sensor will have different type. You can see the range is different. Is 100 ampere. So this is big and this is small. And this output is voltage. And this output is current. So these are two different types of the sensor, CT sensor. And in our board, you can see uh, if, if you want to use the voltage or use the current, just change the jump. If you can press at these right sections, that is V. That means the voltage sensor. If you want to use the current sensor, you just change to the left. So you can see there are 16 jump for 16 channel CT sensor input part. So that will be easy to set. Uh, just choose different range of the CT sensor and just change to the jump. Okay, this is CT sensor and you can see that support max 16 channel CT sensor. You can just connect to this socket, any socket you can use. So if I can connect with this one, and uh, this is another channel, so just like this. 
and uh, just uh, choose the jump uh, set to left or set to the right and go on uh, we can see you just use this sensor and uh, fix on your one so this can be easily to monitor the one you have installed in your house or in your building that will be not change your one so you can see that the M16 bar have detect when when one okay this is another way you can use this CT sensor easily to monitor the current and this you can see the power meet you can see the voltage have detect but the CT sensor is mainly detect the current okay let's look at the hardware details you can see we have designed this board and here is our schematic the board also is open source you can download the schematic from Kinkoni's website you can download from here document and you will, you will find the M16 schematic so you just click and we have already uploaded the PDF file so you will easily to understand some details of the hardware design and this is our PCB board and this you can see the 3D and uh, this is the back and mainly the components at the top of the PCB and here you can see that is LCD display and the RTC module so you can see here that have LCD display SSD 1306 that's supported by the ESP home so you can plug in at here so you maybe you will write the Arduino code to show the current and the voltage and you can see uh, we will use this metal and to fix the display and also you can see this RTC socket you can see like this I can fix it here and the display you can see I can fix it here so you can use your screw to fix by this hole so if you can write the Arduino code uh, you can save your sensor date and to the SD card and read the date from the SD card and display on the screen so that is up to you if you can write code and this PCB board also support install to the plastic shoe so you can see we open this box and can install the PCB board to this shoe and just close it and you will see this is in front and this is left and this is back and this is the another side and also you can see this box that will support install on the DIN rail so you can see I can use this easily to fix to the power distribution box okay now I will show you how it works with home assistant we will use this implants uh, for our test you can see this board I connect with the Ethernet cable and I choose this 15 ampere the current because if your current or line is large current so you can choose another one uh, maybe 100 ampere but well, this time I will show you I have connected to the channel 1 and this is channel 1 just plug in okay and this USB cable you can download the firmware and you can monitor the state I, I just connect it here and this is the power line we have connected with 12 volt DC also you can connect with 24 volt DC so you can see I just plug in it here because the terminal is removable so that will be easy to connect to the wine I will connect a 12 volt and the last I have mixed this power socket but I have cut the line I have cut the line and this connect to my power supply and uh, for 220 volts AC because I want to use this city clamp and just like this to fix it so that can detect the one the current okay you can see that is red LED I have connected this power socket to power and now I will connect with the 12 volt so I can connect with it and you can see 
the red LED is on. And this is channel one. And here you can see that is my mobile phone of the Home Assistant. Uh, it will be refreshed. You can see here I have some information that is seen as the PC software. Now we can see our Home Assistant dashboard. If you first time, you need just need to create the device in ESP Home. And I have already created the M16 and edit. And all is very simple. Just copy all config file and paste it here. At here, so when you can just click and download by the USB cable, and after you download, uh, you will see your board will be become online. So you can see that is online because a communication with the internet cable, and go to the dashboard. I have created the dashboard. You can see the current channel one power and uh, total energy, because this has some value you need to celebrate. So this is very important. You can see the celebration of the CT sensor that will be very important. Just add many lines, such as when the output logo, the RAW value is zero, and this is zero ampere. This is four ampere, and what is output from the logo file? Later, I will show you how to do this. Now I just uh, test for you. You can see I will use this one and connect to this power. And now you can see I can start. I can start and become hot. This will become hot, become hot. And then you will see this current is changed. And this power is calculated. And this is energy consumer power consumer and this is for the channel one so this is the gun work if I disable the warmer just not from the warmer so you can see here that will be become smaller so this is for channel one we can detect uh, by this current power and the energy so you can see also I can use the Home Assistant application by my mobile phone. So you can see the value is changed. And also we can see the history, you can see the history and this history. You can also click the compute, the history and the history and the history okay this is detect uh, from the PC software and the mobile phone and also it can use by the tablet for the home assistant and this you can see that, that is Amazon tablet so we can open this box uh, you can see also is the home assistant uh, see many value and you can see here that is the home assistant dashboard at here, if I turn on, and you will see the date is changed. So you can see the date is changed. I can also click and follow history and follow history. Okay, uh, this is work for the tablet. And now I will show you how to celebrate. Uh, this is very important. So you can see our ESP home, and you can see that M16, and you will find these two value. That means zero ampere. That means 8.9 ampere. So you just need to measure when the zero and what output from the debug information and what is this value from the logo file output so you can add this line 1, line 2 and line 3 and line 4 just for many lines that your value will be better this is our M16 board help you can click the logo file 
and click this by the USB because I have used this USB cable and connect the Raspberry Pi so you can see here and click USB server so that will be output the date because I have set every 5 seconds and update, update the value so we can it's always fresh you can download the logo file and open this file and we can find the channel 1 so I can use the find function and measure current channel 1 so you can see the RAW value just without any load now you can see the socket without any load so this this should be zero current so that is the value 0 0.004 so we can copy this number copy and paste to your file so we can find uh, that is 0 ampere so you can use this value or maybe other value so this can be celebrated when this sensor without any load that is have a value output from the CT board and this you have connect a loader and what is the date output from the logo file and you may maybe you will add the 3 or the 4 or the 5 so maybe you have let this become 1 ampere or 3 ampere or 5 ampere and you need to monitor uh, what's the date output what's the data output so that if you have many lines about the celebration so your date of the current will be better so this is how to celebration and the details you just see the ESP home official website at here have many details okay if you have any questions you can leave a message to us thanks for watching